Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today I really wanted to talk about MC businesses, motorcycle club businesses, drug businesses, whatever you want to call it. I really wanted to talk about it because it's, uh, I want to talk about how much of a waste of time it is. Like maybe two years ago before the casino update, it was probably the best way to make money. But as of right now, this recording in 2021, it has to be not only one of the worst ways to make money in GTA Online, it probably has to be one of the biggest wastes of money in this game and probably the worst investments you can make in this game. Now, I don't want to get into the bunker or the CEO crates. That's probably for another video. But after doing the math, you know, I, I wasn't the greatest in math. You know, you know, I'm sorry, Mr. White. I wasn't the greatest in math. But this is simple mul multiplication and division. And I've come to the, to the conclusion this is the worst way to make money. And Grand Theft Auto Online. So as a new player, I I caution you to stay away from MC businesses. They're not worth it. It's not worth the risk. Or any of that. So I'm, I'm gonna get into that. So like first, I want to get into the paywalls for the for the businesses. So a Kasaka, the submarine that you use to unlock the Kyle Perico heist, the Kasaka will cost you about two million dollars that's pretty expensive i suggest you do some contact missions do some missions with friends to get that money but it's not that bad in comparison to an mc business because the kasaka can earn you on average 1.5 million an hour and if you redo the heist over and over again or do it once a day you can earn yourself some good money and the cocaine lockup, which is like the best MC business, it pays out four hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Has a it has a lot of paywalls, so you're gonna have to drop two hundred thousand dollars on a clubhouse alone, which is uh, pretty steep. Not that it's not that bad, but like considering it's a paywall, it, you know, it's not that great. That, and that's, a cheap, that's the cheapest clubhouse. If you want like a fancy clubhouse with all the upgrades, you're, you're probably going to have to spend probably $500,000. So there's that. But if you, don't, if you don't care about upgrades and you just want to get the MC clubhouse so you can buy the businesses, then you're going to have to just buy the cheapest one for $200,000, which is all right, whatever. So the best location for the cocaine lockup would have to be the Alamo C. That's going to cost you $975,000. Then you have to pay for two more paywalls. Well, actually, three more paywalls. Excuse me. You got to pay for the equipment, which will cost you $935,000. Staff, which is going to cost you $390,000. And security, which is going to cost you $570,000. And you need these upgrades in order to make the max amount of money with this business. And all that's going to come out to a whopping $3,070,000. Which it costs more than the Kasatka, and you're gonna make less money because you're not gonna make four hundred thousand dollars an hour. You're gonna earn four hundred and twenty thousand dollars every five hours. This is a passive income business, so you'll have to steal supplies or buy supplies because buying supplies is actually quicker and more efficient. But again, you're buying supplies, you're you're technically losing net profit. And buying supplies, you have to pay $75,000 every hour and 50 minutes in the cocaine lockup. That's assuming you have all the upgrades because it'll, it, it'll be a lot slower if you don't have the upgrades. So assuming you have all the upgrades, you're going to have to pay $75,000 every hour and 50 minutes. You got to resupply the cocaine lockup three times. So if you do the math real quick, you're going to have to end up spending... Two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars on resupplying the cocaine lockup, and it's not an efficient way of making money. It's t especially in two thousand twenty-one. Like in twenty nineteen, prior to the casino up um, heist update, yeah, it's probably one of the best ways to make money. Me and my friends used to make like ten million dollars every week, just grinding our meth lab and cocaine lockup, just going back and forth and help each other out. But as of now, it's probably the worst. So as a new player, I suggest you stay away 
from the MC businesses. Even when it's double money. Double money, it's still not worth it considering the amount of time. And taking all that out of consideration, it's the fact you have to be in public lobbies to not only make these MC business sales, but also to buy supplies. Because... For some reason, Rockstar encourages griefing. When you make these MC business sales, the whole entire lobby is notified that you're making these sales. That gives those jet griefers and those oppressor Mark II griefers, it gives them free reign to destroy your product. Granted, back in the day, we had the solo public lobby glitch, so this wasn't a, a problem for a lot of people. But since they patched that, you know, it's a big issue for players trying to make these MC business sales. Now let's say it's double money. Let's just say that. Let's say it's double money for MC businesses, right? So let's say one week on the newswire, it's double money. It's still not worth it. Because let's say you own all five MC businesses being the document forgery, counterfeit cash, the weed farm, the meth lab, and the cocaine lockup. You will make two million eight hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars in five hours meaning you have to buy resupplies with all the businesses you'll end up paying about 1.1 million dollars give or take in supplies in all the mc businesses put together so when it's not double money you'll only be making one million four hundred and forty nine thousand dollars off of your businesses every five hours in the same amount of time with the auto shop contracts, you can make $2,625,000, give or take. In the same amount of time, you can make more than the MC businesses. And that's just with the auto shop. I'm not even going to count Kyle Perico because, oh my god, you can make some good money with the Kyle Perico. So you're making double the amount of money you would with the MC businesses with the auto shop contracts. Like, that is insane. And plus the fact of the auto shop contracts, Kyle Perico, and the newly added agency missions, you can do all these solo in a solo lobby. You don't have to be in a public lobby. You don't have to worry about griefers. You don't have to worry about any of that. You don't even need, you don't even need to have a friend to make money with these, with these uh, businesses. Because that's one thing I, d I did not add, actually. The MC businesses... If you want to like do these sales or f at least finish these sales because you're timed. You have 30 minutes to do these sales. So you have four sale vehicles. You need at least one other friend to help you. And keep in mind, these have to be in public lobbies. So you're still not going to be making your money back. We, 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 went, we went over that. I'm sorry. But you need to have another player to help you make these sales. And that's pretty difficult because, you know, some... Some people, they don't play with their friends. They play by themselves. And also, the Kyle Perico, the agency missions, and the auto shop contracts, unlike the MC business sales, they're actually fun. You, you're doing a whole heist, robbing a, a drug lord's private island with Kyle Perico. The agency missions, you're, you're basically a fixer doing these odd jobs for rich people. Which a lot of these missions are pretty fun, even the payphone missions, which I'll, which I'm not getting into right now, and then the auto shop missions, which is basically mini heists. You break into a prison, you rob a train, you rob an armored convoy, you do, you you rob the Union Depository in one of the contracts. Like, come on, like, which one sounds more fun to you? All of that, or delivery mission? Like, come on, the MC businesses, they're not worth doing. I know people who do them that have a lot of money in the game. They only do it just because it's they find it fun or they want to change the pace from Kyle Perico, which I don't mind. I get pretty bored redoing the Kyle Perico heist over and over again, so it's a nice change of pace. But it's not worth my time. I don't want to do the MC business. I don't want to wait for them for the, the supplies to fill up and all that. It's not worth it. It's not even fun. And then I got to worry about a jet griefer just dive, dive bombing my cocaine convoy and I lose all my time. So it's like, where's the fun in that? But yeah, that's pretty much my whole rant on the whole MC businesses. And I kind of like, 
record this all in one take, so I'm sorry if I have a little stutter going on. If I hesitate my words, I try. I, I'll try my best to edit that out. <laughs> but yeah, if you're a new player, do not invest in the MC businesses. It's not worth it. You, it'll put you three million dollars, at least three million dollars. You'll have to end up making back, which will take take you a few MC business sales, assuming you do it successfully. So if you're a new player, do not buy the MC businesses. Get yourself a Kasaka, get yourself an agency, or get yourself an auto shop. But I promise you, you'll make your money back, you'll have more fun doing it, and it's much more rewarding than any of the MC businesses. But yeah, those are my thoughts, my dissertation on the MC businesses, and it's my thoughts in general, and what I believe the new, pl new players should do in order to make the most efficient money and have the most fun. If you guys did go on and enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like, and... Subscribe to my channel if you're new and leave a comment. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you believe that do you believe that MC businesses are worth it? Do you believe that Kyle Perico can be boring? It's a nice change of pace to do so. Do you believe that new players should buy the MC businesses? Let me know in the comments section down below. Hope you have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.